an email from your boss, you probably wouldn't ignore it, right? Scammers know that and they are using business email compromise scams to swindle companies out of billions billions of dollars. So here to explain the scam and how to protect yourself is Tony Binkley from the Better Business Bureau. These are brazen for sure. How are they working, these scams? They're really good and a lot of times they'll send a bait email to, it looks like it's coming from the president, CEO of a company to somebody that's higher up and they'll say, hey, you got a minute, can you help me with something? And if they respond, sure, what do you need? Then that's, that's when they take advantage of it. Yeah, so it could be your work, any other influx of emails that are legit but look legit that we yeah. should look out for and usually they're not hacking the email they're just making it appear that it's coming from somebody inside the office right. so and that's easy to do you know you can spoof an email pretty easily absolutely so how often are these scams happening now according to our research in 2018 80 percent of businesses got an email like this 80 percent 80 percent four out of five and you were saying during the break Robocalls have nothing on this anymore then? No, uh, social media and email scams have, have topped robocalls now. Wow. That's actually, one of our board members, one of his, his company actually was victim of this just a few months ago. So the all important question, what should we be looking out for then when, uh, you know, this may happen to us? What should, what are those telltale signs? Yeah, typically it's, again, we've talked about just slow down and take your time, but also verify. So if you get an email, Make sure that it's coming from the person that it, it, it's supposed to come from and maybe respond to them in a different method if anything sounds peculiar. I ask this every time, but I, and I, I have to, but what is the recourse for anyone who may fall victim to this kind of scam? Is there any recourse for them? Typically, they're trying to get you to go out and buy a gift card, scratch mm -hmm. the numbers off, send them the picture of it, and if you've done that, there's no recourse. The money's gone. Yeah. Anytime people have questions, though, they can certainly reach out to the Better Business Bureau. Right? They can reach out to us. They can talk to a friend. Sometimes just bouncing it off of somebody else you know is, is good advice. Absolutely. Well, always we have to be vigilant and on the lookout. We sure do. Tony Binkley, as always, thank you. Appreciate Glad to be you. Here. Thanks.